Hello there, my gorgeous friends on the internet, and welcome to developedbyed.com, the original studio back home at Romania in Dracula land. And in this episode, I want to give you some updates on what's happening with this channel and where we're headed and a little story of why the course is getting delayed by two weeks. So let's get going. Look at the production quality. I don't even have a microphone stand. This is what the channel has always been about. Just a failure. Oh, and I also have a Christmas sale going on on all my courses. So if you're interested in cool projects, adding cool projects to your portfolio, uh, definitely check out the courses down in the description below. Use coupon Santa Ed. I'm going to keep it up for like a week or two more and then it's going to be done. But you're going to get a great discount and you're going to enjoy my courses. So click on the link below, get it and tell me if you enjoyed it. You. So where have I been and what have I been? As you can see, actually, in the last few weeks, I started posting quite frequently. But is that the reason just because I have a new course coming out? A little bit. So in the last month and a half, I've been working on the ultimate JavaScript animation course. It's a full course on animations. It has to be my favorite one so far that I've ever worked on. And actually, I've, I've, I've not been working on it alone. My partner is working on it with me and it's been just absolutely amazing. So anyway, we started building out the course and set up the whole project. So um, each chapter has its own project, so it's very project based. And once we finished all of those up, uh, we used to use GitHub, obviously, to back up the courses. And what I did is I did a git add dot, which adds all the files and then you can commit them, right? But for some reason, what I managed to do is I managed to git add my whole Mac pretty much. And then we're like, we don't want to do that. We want to get rid of it. So we looked on Google to find an answer on how to clean up the, uh, the files that are ready to be committed. And the first answer on Google that popped up was get clean. So, I mean, we ran get clean and we've deleted the whole damn computer. So we lost almost all the projects. We left one or two. So then we had to start rebuilding everything back up. Why is that the first thing that pops up on Google? Why would you do that? It didn't even give us a warning. Hey, you sure you want to delete your computer? No, but it does ask you when you when you log in, or when you want to change your email address, you sure you want to do that? You sure you want to commit your changes? Wiping out the computer? We ain't warning you about that. Get, get your shit together. So anyway, we wiped out our whole project, so we had to spend uh, days and days on rebuilding everything back up, and thus, thus the delay of the course. So the so now the new date that the course gets released on is going to be around the 15th of December. So the reason why it doesn't get released sooner than that is cuz I'm in Romania now and I cannot film. Um, because another big thing in my life that's happening right now is I'm planning to move to the UK to stay and live with my partner. So that's not possible. I applied for a visa specifically for, it's called global talent. Okay, now I'm not gonna say I'm a global talent, but I mean, it's developed by a.com, come on. Um, so it's a visa specifically for people that do innovative things in the tech field. So that's what I applied for. I needed to get three endorsement letters, which I did get. So Traverse Media came through. Let's give it up for Traverse Media, everyone. Um, and then from Free Code Camp and Udemy, I believe. So really strong recommendation letters uh, that I, I did an effort and I actually helped out people in the tech field in some way or sh shape or form. And they, they did not think that was innovative at all. They didn't think it's cool. Maybe they have a grudge against YouTubers. What did we ever did to you? So why? So now I have to do this whole thing where I need to come back to Romania every 90 days or so. So that's a bit unfortunate, but it's okay. Because I have another surprise in the future. So anyway, 
So I'm back here now. There's this office is completely empty. All my gear is there. So I'll be returning back in two weeks and then get going with the course. So other than that, once that gets finished, it's going to be really exciting. Uh, it's just, just wait till you see the trailer. Just wait till you see the trailer. You're going to be really excited for that. What I also want to talk about is what's going to happen after the course. So after the course, uh, me and my partner are, are probably going to get really into Blender and Unity. So I said this a hundred times, now I'm going to do it on the channel. But now we're going to do it together, so it's going to be easier and more fun to learn. So probably a lot of videos are going to come up uh, regarding those specific topics. So that's going to be it. And then more talking videos like this, because I really like to do talking videos and I never end up doing it for some reason. But yeah, let me know if you like this kind of format just goofing around um yeah so that's coming out and then the full stack course is going to be coming out which again is going to be project based all the courses are going to be project based oh and some other fun stuff that's non-code related at all i'm getting a shiba inu not the coin not the crypto do i did have some shiba inu um I'm getting a Shiba Inu on the 8th of December, so we're going all the way to Glasgow to pick him up. So probably going to see a lot of clips on him on YouTube or probably not YouTube, but Twitter and Instagram. So follow me there if you want to see Shiba Inu content. That's going to be absolutely amazing. The new MacBook Pro is pretty cool as well. They have the M1X or whatever it's called. Oh no, they have the Pro and Max. That thing is nuts, isn't it? You have a... You have a CPU now that has integrated graphics of 11 teraflops. How nuts is that? Jeez. So what I'm hoping for, so the laptop itself looks absolutely amazing. I like that it has the ports. They brought the ports back. I like the full screen display. I, I really don't mind the notch. I got used to it on my iPhone. It's totally fine. I don't think it, it, it bothers me absolutely at all. So that's really nice. 120 Hertz refresh screen. Uh, that's a really nice update. Um, so the only thing I'm looking for now with these M1s is more, I, I know there's a lot of support with apps on it, but there's still quite a few that don't run natively. So Blender being one, it's not have M1 support. So that would be really nice to see. Okay, so that's gonna be it for me. Sorry for keeping this quite short. Uh, but as you can see, everything is quite impromptu here. I guess that's kind of how the channel has always been of me just kind of sitting down and doing stuff. Um, but yeah, let me know what's up with you. How 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 you doing? What are your plans? Uh, it's the end of the year, so I'm I'm pro after finishing the course, I'm probably just gonna spend time with family, uh, enjoy playing with the dog, and. And it's sending up the Christmas tree. That's actually one of my favorite things to do. So I'll leave you to it and I'll see you next time.